Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively we're the Office Blokes, aren't we? We yeah. are, we are, we are. Mm. It is true. All three of us in the studio back together, but you wouldn't even know. We've been away, yeah. That one of us has been away. Yeah. It's magic. Let's well, follow us on social media, yeah, yeah. which you should be doing anyway. Yeah, it's true. Office Bloke yeah. Daz on Instagram, Office Bloke Dave on Instagram. Where did you go? New York. New York. Yep. Spent time just doing mad tourist shit. That when I lived there, it was like, didn't, didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this time I just saw, like, <laughs> absorbed it all, did the shows, comedy club, uh, hired a boat, um, went up the edge to the... Uh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it? We did a podcast from there, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so Patreon exclusive podcast yeah. from the edge in New York to the office. What, in, I, found, yeah. what I found, you know what I found about New York this time? And it's, I've been many, many times into New York and it's, you kind of like, you pick up on a lot of stuff that's around you, you know, the, your whereabouts. One thing I missed is they have the topless girls in uh, Times Square, which I wanted to get me a picture with, but I was a little bit late and um, we were going somewhere and I was like, oh, I haven't got time sort of thing. So yeah. I thought, come back. And when I went back, they'd gone. I don't know if they'd been arrested or they just gone. <laughs> <laughs> they probably fucked off anyway. And, um, but I, f I found there was a lot, a lot of Spanish speaking um, people. Really? Yeah. Hell of a lot. Wow. Yeah. More, more than not, 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 I'm not talking about people who were, I'm talking about visitors. Yeah. Yeah. Or tourists that were there. And it was, a, it was just a hell of a lot more than what I've noticed in the past. So I don't know if it's a South American holiday that was on there or anything like that. Yeah. Latin yeah, American right, holiday. Okay. Yeah. People were coming in, but it was full of Spanish speaking people. Yeah. 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 Which, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right then, Bill Burr learned why gorillas shouldn't have pet kittens. <laughs> now, I have to say this on every Bill Burr bit. I've, tried to, like before we did a reaction channel mm. i was trying to find as much bill burr content yeah. as i could yeah, so yeah. i've seen this bit so i'm getting that out there he was on in new jersey when i was there and um i only found out like the morning of yeah we had plans sort of thing and i was trying to time it to the plans to see if i can finish and get a car and go down to the pnc art center um but it just i miss just went it can be asked too much yeah yeah i'm sure he'll <laughs> saw the uk yeah you know yeah, yeah. yeah. Hope so. i think he's touring the us until the end of the year mm. and i won't mind betting next year he'll be over here mm. to europe yeah, yeah. hopefully hope yeah. So. yeah yeah uh well we'll get into it then bill burr learned why gorillas shouldn't have pet kittens let's do this so this lady down at the zoo this lady down at the zoo she taught this gorilla how to do sign language okay and I don't just mean like hello and goodbye, like literally phrases. This thing could like, like talk about its emotions. They were actually conversing. The gorilla was sitting there talking to her. Oh my God, you look a little upset today. She's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of sad. And they're just talking. So immediately, like my brain just went fucking crazy. I was like, oh my God, she's talking to a gorilla. I love gorillas. Who doesn't want to talk to a gorilla? <laughs> and then without thinking that my wife is sleeping, I just blurted out, ask it how much it can bench. Ask it how much it can bench. <laughs> My wife like pops up. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, look at this, look at this. She's talking to a gorilla. And we, we both just got sucked into this thing, right? So long story short, she's sitting there, she's talking to this gorilla. And one day she decides to get a little kitten, little kitty cat, right? And immediately I'm thinking like, don't get it a cat. No. <laughs> it's a gorilla. It's gonna twist the thing's head off, throw the body over there, play with the head for a while. <laughs> Sniffing it and stuff, and then later it's gonna walk over and set the head down next to the body and wonder why the whole thing's not getting up again. Because it's a fucking gorilla. It's a wild animal. Wild animals don't have pets, right? It's kill or be killed out there. That's it. They don't have little parakeets on their shoulders and shit. But it was the exact opposite. She gives it this little kitten, and the thing immediately understood that it was a baby, and this like parental thing came over. It was so like gentle and filled with joy, and just play it was like beautiful, right? And then they, they just understood that it loved this kitten, and they started using it as like a teaching tool, right? So, so every night they take the cat back, all right? And then the next day they come in, and if the gorilla learned its phrases, it got to play with the kitten. They use it as a motivational tool. So the gorilla's like vocabulary started going through the roof. All right, so to cut to the chase, one night they take the cat home. Somehow the little kitten gets out. It got hit by a car and it died. <laughs> yeah. That... <laughs> <laughs> I love how the crowd's instinct is to win, and we're yeah. just like. <laughs> <laughs> So it just sounds like such a terrible idea. <laughs> One night they take the cat home. Somehow the little kitten gets out. It got hit by a car and it died. Yeah, that cat you never met died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. I know you knew it, all of it, for fucking 20 seconds. You know? I don't know if it was dead instantly, like if it drove right over its head and that was it. Or maybe it just hit the back legs and it 
tried to crawl away, but it was it was like stuck to the road, and it was it was meowing out, oh, and it no. could see its breath. And right before it lost consciousness, the rats came in, and it was screaming, and it's, it's such cute little paws. It was like little socks trying to get it off. I don't know what happened, but you seem so fucking concerned about this kitten. I figured I'd throw out a couple of theories. More concerned about the kitten than all the Hitler shit, by the way. More of a reaction. More of a reaction. That's fine. Every crowd's a little bit different. It's not the point of the story. Okay? The point of the story was now this lady had to go down to the zoo. She had to tell the gorilla that the kitten was dead, right? So she comes back down to the zoo, and the gorilla's all amped up. This is like its favorite part of the day. Its mind is engaged, and it sees its little friend. And at this point, its, it's vocabulary is like crazy now. And the lady shows up. The gorilla's all amped up and just looks at her just like, Oh, shit! What's up? Yeah! Right? Now, I can't do sign language, so you're going to have to bear with me for the rest of this bit. I'm going to do the best I can, all right? So the thing's like, What's up? Yeah! All right? But the zookeeper lady, she, she has like, you know, just sitting there all sad, you know, trying to think how she's going to tell it, right? And the gorilla picked up on the vibe. All right? She's kind of like, uh, hello. All right? And all of a sudden, the gorilla's energy just comes all down. She just starts looking at the lady like, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Is there something that I, I, I need to know? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so the lady's sitting there. She's like, uh, ah, Jesus. Uh, well, well, the, the, the kitty cat, it got hit by a car and it's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> We're having that bit again. It's just the way he does it so casually. <laughs> Fucking dead. It's, you know, oh, when he came man. up with that, he was like, yes. Yeah, 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 Fuck yeah. that fucking yeah, that's dead. The one. <laughs> Kitty cat. It got hit by a car and it's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Oh. Oh. <sighs> Could have so much oh, more geez. of that. Oh. Class that, right? Yeah, the guy's absolute class. Cheeks are hurting. Brilliant. Yeah. I don't know, when you when you watch oh, like man. Bird, it doesn't matter if you've seen it before or you can. I can watch him over and yeah. over and still yeah. find it just as funny as the first Just one of those type of people, yeah. one of those comedians yeah. that you can just watch again and again. <clears throat> his, his accent plays into it a lot as well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, his, his accent, his mannerisms, yeah. his, 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 his like in voice inflection as well, the way he gets angry and sort of just, just the way, just yeah. the whole package really. When I was in a comedy club last week in, um, in New York, they had a, this comedian came on, a, a, a female, and... Um, I don't not like female comedians. I'm open to everybody, but she come on, and I've never seen anyone as crazy as she. was. She was absolutely off the wall crazy, oh, yeah. which made a bit all that bit funny. But she was proper just being herself. Yeah, yeah. And she was hysterical, but she was way out, way out there. Yeah. And it was a lot of people didn't get the, the comedy which she was coming mm. across with, but she was so funny because of the crazy. It was just crazy yeah. funny. Yeah. And it was uh, like I said, there's only like three or four of us in the room laughing. Was it? Right. Yeah, and it, she was, I, British, she yeah. was really impressive. Yeah. yeah. Think it was sort of material more for maybe a British crown no. then or no. I think you just have to be that kind of like uh you have to understand that craziness that we, that she was coming across with. Yeah. yeah. Some people were taking it serious when it was it was it wasn't serious, it was her telling a story of her life type thing. But she yeah. was very, very yeah. funny. Yeah. But crazy out there. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if some of the female comics that are a bit more wild and like weird class is hilarious, mm. but they're just you know, really crass, yeah. for example. Mm. I wonder if a lot of the, they don't get TV time because a lot of the TV producers are like, nah. And what we see on TV is the yeah. safe female comics. Yeah, we And do. that's why a lot of it's Maybe. like, not as many female comics crack me up, mm. but then you go to a comedy club yeah. and there'll be a female comic that absolutely cracks you mm. up, yeah. but they just don't seem to get as, over here especially, as much exposure on. I think maybe the material is a bit too strong for the mainstream in, in the I general. Think, or... I think maybe there's still a lot of, old fogies you know like producing things potentially yeah. and mm. they see a woman who's like 
being really crass and yeah. like joking about accidentally masturbating mm. and things like that and they're going yeah. yeah you know whereas the crowd are absolutely yeah. eating it yeah. up and like pissing themselves laughing yeah it's like i say alex cumin that we reacted to she was she she was the compare sort of thing she was yeah. really funny and she introduced the girl that came on but the girl when she was telling jokes she's sort of like halfway through a joke and then going to something else and go back to it and that comedy sort of like relate back to something yeah yeah, sort of like yeah. do two yeah. stories at the same time she was really really funny yeah and for me i'm like you know i was, I was proper like buzzing from it because you want to get every i think everyone should get a chance at comedy who wants to be a comedian yeah, yeah. sure yeah, and, uh, yeah. I think they were just they, they, were, they smashed it out of the park they really yeah. did yeah. Nice. it's one of those things Good. comedy where if you're funny you're funny mm. it's as simple as that yeah. it doesn't matter what you look like what your background is who you are if you yeah. if you're making people laugh you make people the audience, laugh. you got to work yeah. you, got, you got to be able to you got to know the audience i think as well it's, yeah it's oh, guess what, I mean, yeah. A, comedian, a comedian will tell us better than what we'd know but um <clears throat> like i said i don't think a lot of the a lot of the <clears throat> audience were buying into this girl's comedy uh, but one particular she, girl doesn't mean that doesn't mean that she isn't any good though, does it? Because I've heard she's, comedians over the years, even top comedians, saying that they've been to clubs and they've bombed and yeah. no one's been laughing mm. and stuff like yeah, that. So yeah. I think you're absolutely right. I think yeah, getting she, the right she, audience sometimes yeah. in the right mood is yeah. absolute key. I, really, I, don't, I don't think she bombed. I think she was very very funny. But oh I yeah, think she, she did. I think the, I think the comedy bit she did was a little bit over the head for probably about eighty yeah. percent of the, the audience, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. You know, but again, for me, then it's like Bill Burr when you watch him, watch him over and over and over again. He just gets funnier and funnier. Same yeah. bit you watch, yeah. you can watch ten times the same bit. And Bill just Burr's got loads Definitely, of stories yeah. of bombing. Mm. He says he bombs mm. quite regular. Yeah, and the thing is, we watch Bill Burr's specials, but to get to that point of doing a special, <sighs> he's been touring, doing clubs, and he's probably been bombing quite a lot. Know, a lot of his mean, jokes probably Philadelphia, don't Philadelphia, 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 Philadelphia. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. you only have to look yeah. at that, don't you? And look yeah. at the crowd reaction yeah. there. But I mean, on that, he was absolutely... He nailed it again. Gee, yeah. I mean, he's absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. Never, never fuck, the liberty, like b- fuck the Liberty Bell. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a lot of things he was saying about him. With like, <laughs> like just, some of the stuff he came out with, yeah. was absolutely class. It was, Yeah. Oh, brilliant. He's brutal. He's the best for me, Bill Burr. He really is. I know, like, Cat Williams is up there. He's absolutely amazing. But... yeah. I think Bill Burr for me is number one. Because yeah, we've seen quite a lot of him now, Bill Burr, but then we come back and we find a little gem that I've never seen before. Mm. And I think it just reminds me of how good he is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really like I say, even if you've watched it before, though, you can watch it four or five I've, times. I've watched that Definitely bit loads of times. Yeah, I've, yeah. Seen it, I've seen it before, but it's, 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 it's still hysterical. Yeah. No matter how many times you watch it. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't agree more. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers.